morning, Mike Ford was one of the Yankees who met the media, and Meredith asked Ford if he and his fellow hitters are feeling a bit more comfortable now that they've been back in camp for a little while. I think that happens every year and every spring. Um, these guys are so talented now that, uh, you know, sometimes during the year it even feels like that in stretches. Um, but, yeah, for, for having three months off and not seeing a live pitch, I feel like I'm in a pretty good spot. Uh, I think a lot of other guys are, are in pretty good spots, surprisingly. I think we only have probably about eight at-bats. So I think everyone's doing a great job and, and you know, a lot, of, a lot of machine work for guys just to get the timing back, and, and that will be key. Do you worry that timing is going to be difficult to get back in such a short period of time? Uh, it, it's all dependent on hitter, uh, each hitter, I think. Um, it, it, you know, some guys step right in there and are fine. Some guys take some time. But, uh, you know, luckily we have a pretty awesome lineup. So, uh, you know, I, I think if uh, one guy might be a little bit behind, the rest of the lineup will pick him up. Thanks, Meredith. Uh, our next question comes from Brendan Cuddy. Brendan, please unmute your line. Mike, thanks for taking the time. I hope you're well. Can you hear me? Yeah. Awesome. Your parents are doctors. Uh, what did they tell you about coming here, doing all this, and trying to stay safe uh, among the, you know, amidst the coronavirus? Yeah, I mean that, that's a really interesting question. Uh, you know, a lot of a lot of my family members, uh, brother and, and his wife included, are, are practicing physicians now, and and they've been you know on the front lines of this thing the whole time. And, and my parents are luckily retired because you know they're they're a little bit at the at risk age. So I mean, uh, you know, honestly, just take some precautions. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's it's our job, and. Um, uh, you know, not not comparing it to the flu, but uh, we've had a lot of circumstances where guys get the flu throughout the year, and, and it's kind of how it's ha how it's handled very differently, obviously, because it has to be. But um, you know, if, if we're taking the precautions in the clubhouse uh, and, and just kind of doing our part at home, um, you know, maybe not going into crowded areas, not getting into more interactions with people. That, that was mainly their advice. Uh, you know, luckily everyone in the clubhouse, uh, you know, I don't know everyone's medical history, but uh, everyone is at least a, a younger um, and, and healthier human being, uh, you know, being a professional athlete. So I, I, th I think we'll be okay, um, especially if everyone does their part and uh, just take some precautions here and there. You mentioned how they're kind of at an at-risk age. Have you had to stay away from them? Uh, I actually spent the time in Florida um, for a while, yeah, and then once I had a negative test, I went up to see them uh, for a little bit. Um, uh, not, you know, they they probably wanted to see me more more than anything, so so they were willing to take that risk. But yeah, I, I was doing my part in Florida, and uh, you know, hanging out with a small group of friends uh, at most, and and limiting my contact with other people. Like Meredith said, you know. It's been interesting to see you guys facing each other on these some games what is it like kind of seeing what your teammates scouting reports are on you is it like does it give you a different perspective to you know face guys who then can kind of tell you later you know what they were looking for and kind of how it was um maybe a little bit more feedback that way yeah, I think that's a, actually a really interesting point because it's happened a bunch. Um, you know, they all get a sheet every day, and it's kind of interesting to see uh, maybe after the game, see how what their plan was to attack you, uh, you know, from, from the Yankees' perspective if it was another team. So it definitely is helpful for guys that like to look at that. Uh, me being uh, someone that does like to game plan uh, a lot, I, I like to see what the other side's going to do to me. So... That's been interesting, and you know, just from facing our team, I'm very glad that I don't play for another team. So, <laughs> is there anything that you know has kind of come to your attention that's been a surprise to you? Um, not not really. I mean, I think uh, you know, coming off last year, I I know what I can get better at at this level. Um, you know, our coaching staff's great here, and and they've highlighted it from an opposing standpoint of what they're going to try to do. Um, I, I think it will be a little bit of an adjustment, but you know, hopefully we make that adjustment so that uh, an opponent has to reevaluate re and readjust to you, and, and you kind of have your opponent on the ropes. You did say you do everything you can uh, to protect yourself and your teammates. 
But are you worried about this spreading even further, um, given that all this was negative on the intake last week, and somehow he's, uh, he's contracted the virus since he got here? So uh, what, what can you do to, uh, to redouble your efforts? And are you worried about uh, further positive tests? Uh, I think personally, I'm more worried about positive tests and, and all stars being out for two weeks. Uh, to be totally honest with you, we, you know, we have such a talented lineup in there that we all have to do our part. You know, like I said, here and at home to to keep that lineup in play uh, for as long as we can and keep guys like you know Chappie here and and get DJ back and you know kind of not have those breakdowns. I think that will be one of the bigger. Uh, I guess advantages to teams that do it do it better than others this year. Um, so I think that's that's very important. Uh, I, I mean, on the spread in the clubhouse, we're doing everything we can. Uh, we we really are. We're taking it very seriously, and and so is the staff and uh, you know support staff, clubhouse uh, to food room to everything. So. You know, if we if we can limit interactions uh, and, and contact trace to to who kind of was around, you know, the person that might have gotten sick that day, you know, you can you can limit your exposure a little bit. But you know, it, it's a chance it's a chance and it's a risk that we're taking to to play, uh, just like a lot of other jobs did throughout this whole quarantine. And 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 you know, very thankful for all those people that 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 worked throughout this, provided you know food for everyone, doctors, nurses. Um, you know, can't can't thank those people that were working the front line the whole time. But I, I think it's time to get going, and um, I think we're ready to honestly.